Hey bosses, it's Nina. So I got a couple questions about Bitly and how it works. Bitly is a link shortener or shortening URL generator, whatever you want to call it. Um, it just saves you time. Um, it's super duper easy and I really, really love it. I've been using it for years. So I'm going to jump right in. Um, First, let me just talk about the purpose of Bitly. So Bitly is really used to shorten links. So what that means is you may have a site. So I'm going to go to sociallynina.com slash, actually, let's go to learned it online. So I might go to a specific link and then maybe I search for, I don't know, Microsoft, right? So I can share this out to people. So this whole entire link, but if you're using something like Twitter, you want to count your characters or just in general, you want it to look nice and very um, put together instead of this long drawn out list, I can simply go to copy. So I'm just going to right click and copy. And without even creating an account, I can go over to bit.ly, right click and paste. And I instantly have a short URL. Right. So that means I can copy and use this anywhere. So even if you don't create an account, that's the number one use of it. What I do love is that you can actually customize and actually it says it right there. Want to customize, share and track your links. Um, you can actually create an account. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my account here. OK, and then I believe when you first sign up it asks you a couple questions about your business. Um, I use a couple of different link shorteners. Um, just to be honest, I use Bitly and I use two of their competitors, which would, I don't know if they're competitors, but um, Pretty Links as well as um, Google um, Link Shortener. So I will be doing videos on that. Um, if I've already created it, I'll go ahead and put them in the description um, below. Okay, so once you get in here and you have an account, it's the same thing. You're just going to create a link and paste it, right? And we're going to Normally you won't see this, you'll see bit.ly. That's a little bit more advanced at the top. So I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna paste it here. Oh, not that. I'm gonna paste my original link. Okay. Um, and what happens, let me just start from scratch. There we go. <clears throat> What's gonna happen is it will create a link. Now, this is my caveat with using bit.ly and the only thing that I don't like about it is you can't use the same link and create multiple um, short links. So for instance, if I'm doing a um, telesummit and I want to give each of my instructors a link to the same place so I can track each instructor. So instructor A has their own link, instructor B, instructor C, but they all lead to the same place. I can't do that with bit.ly because no matter when that, where I paste it, it's always gonna give me the original link. Um, hopefully that makes sense. If not, go ahead and put the comments below. I'll show you a little bit more in the Google video. But under Bitly, what I love is I can customize this. So I can say this is learned it online. That's my acronym for that, Microsoft, right? Now, couple of things. Everyone has access to customize a link. So there's certain links that are already going to be taken. So if I say something like sales, right, it's going to tell me that's already taken or, um, and let me go ahead and click on save. So this custom bit.ly link is taken. So whoever uses bit.ly can use the same one. So I usually like to use some type of initials like my company or something. Now this is case sensitive. So if I put an N capital N and a lower N, those are two different characters. So if you're giving out this link, I would suggest doing everything all lowercase, right? So then you don't have to decide if it's uppercase or lowercase. And if you're speaking, like doing a live stream, you're not really um, having to say, you know, uppercase, lowercase, or people don't get confused. So just keep it either all upper or all lower. By default, people type in lowercase. So I would leave it like that, right? Okay. You can give it your own title. I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to go ahead and click on create. Now it says it's been edited because I'd already used that link. This is the power of Bitly. So in, in addition to this, and again, I haven't been in here in a long time. So let's look and see if I have some things in here. Um, 
this might be a good one. I can't remember where I use this. It's one of the reasons why I don't like it is because I can't tell where it's coming from. But really what I would do usually is at the top when you create the name, I would say like um, Twitter freebie 30 and 30. So anyways, here you'll see that this is a short link and you'll see um, where it was sh saved and how many clicks. So and it's organized by date. I don't think I use this, so it shouldn't be. Yeah, there's nothing. Yeah, I stopped the, the um, I use this with a, another app. So anyways, um, it tells you where things were referred from. So these seem to be from YouTube, right? Um, and then the location of the people that are clicking on it. I love this because I'm all about analytics and I wanna see who's actually clicking on my items. Um, so I love that Bitly allows you to see how many clicks come through okay um let me go through a couple of other things so one let me just stop and say that bitly can be used in a lot of ways right the benefits of using this is one you don't have a long url two it's absolutely free for these settings that i'm talking about um, three it shortens your links and you can create customized links um, you can also track clicks from each individual person so if you're working with other people and you want to see which person is referring the most traffic or what link is referring the most traffic. This is a great way to do it. Again, with that caveat that you can't create different customized links that lead to the same place. Um, you can archive your links. I never do that um, and I have to see how to do it. Do, do, do. Okay, they changed it to hide. So you can hide certain links, right? And then you don't have to see it. So if you wanna go here and go in here and clean it up, you can click on a link and then hide it. You can also categorize them. So as you're going through, if you have certain categories of links, you can tag them and say, this is my Twitter, this is my YouTube, these are links for you know specific um, applications, whatever it is, but it helps you keep organized and actually look at your top performing kind of links and see exactly how you're driving traffic. Ways I would use this, instead of putting your URL in like say, um, Twitter, I would put a link that, um, a bit.ly link that helps you track this. You could also put it in your Instagram, on your Facebook, anytime you share anything. The joy of that is that you can look at all of your analytics in one place. So of course, Twitter and Instagram track link clicks, but this, you can actually see this specific link. So for instance, if Instagram this week, you're leading everyone to YouTube. So you put your YouTube URL bit.ly link you could see how many clicks go there. And then next week you can add a bit.ly link for um, driving them to your website. And so you can see which, um, you can actually track who goes where. So I know that's a lot of information for a quick little tutorial, but I wanted to make sure you knew how to use it, not just um, as far as the technology, but kind of a quick little strategy session. If you have any questions, leave them below. I will be creating a Google link shortener, quick tutorial as well. I actually like that a little bit better, but I have caveats about that one as well. Ciao.